In this video, which is an IGCSE GCSE maths video, we're going to be looking at how we use the cosine rule to find unknown angles and lengths in triangles. So first of all, let's write out the cosine rule, which is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. And notice that in order to use the cosine rule, you want to have three sides and one angle. So look for three sides and one angle in order to use the cosine rule. Otherwise, you'll probably be looking at using the sine rule, which is a previous video. So in this question, we're being asked to find angle x. And as we can see, we do have three sides and one angle, so the cosine rule will be appropriate here. And I'm going to start by writing out that cosine rule. Now you want to make sure you've labelled all the sides and remember that angles and sides are opposite each other. So if we have an angle A, then opposite to that will be side A. Angle B means that the side opposite that is side B. Angle C means that the side opposite that is side C. And now we're ready to start solving the question. So we're actually looking for angle X, which make sure you identify this in the question is this value here. A. So we're ready now to start substituting in all our values. So what is a squared? Well, have a look at side a, that's 8.5, so we need to square that. b squared, so we need to do 7.5 squared, plus c squared, so that's 6.5 squared, minus 2 times side b, which is 7.5, times side c, which is 6.5, times by cos a, which is what we're after. And now you need to just sort this out a bit and simplify it. So let's start by doing 8.5 squared and you get 72.25 7.5 squared is 56.25 6.5 squared is 42.25 then we're going to multiply minus 2 by 7.5 by 6.5 to get minus 97.5 times by cos a so more simplifying needed Let's keep the left-hand side the same and sort out 56.25 plus 42.5 and you get a value which is 98.5 minus 97.5. You can't minus that 97.5 because it's multiplied by cos A, so make sure you don't do that by accident. Now I need to get all my numbers on the same side, so what I'm going to do here is take 98.5 away from both sides you get an answer here which is minus 26.25 equals minus 97.5 cos a and I hope you're happy with this but because both sides are minus you can effectively ignore them and make them both positive so let's do that now in order to stop cos a being multiplied by 97.5 because after all we're trying to isolate the a we want to divide both sides by 97.5 and you'll get a value which is 0 0.269 blah 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 equals cos a and we're finally ready to find out our answer so we need to do inverse cos that's what you have to do in order to find an angle so literally press those numbers in your calculator and you'll get an angle of a which is 74.4 degrees to three significant figures Obviously, you can rearrange the cosine rule if you prefer, but I always prefer to do it at the end and let all my maths kind of work itself out. Let's have a look at a second example now. Now we want to find out angle Y, and that is effectively angle C, so you want to write out the cosine rule, but starting with C squared. So C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cos c. I hope you can see that this is basically the same as what we just did and indeed you could actually rename your triangle to make c a and just write it out in the original form. It's completely up to you but I don't want to confuse you so I've rewritten it in terms of c because after all we're looking for angle c which is why which is why we need to have cos c here. Anyway if we are to label the sides we know that the side opposite angle c will be c, side opposite angle a will be a side opposite angle B will be B. Now we're ready to substitute in our values. So C squared, well we know C side C is 9, so we're going to do 9 squared equals A squared, so that's 5 squared plus B squared, which is 6 squared, minus 2 times 5 times 6 times cos C, which is what we're after. 
So let's sort this out. So 9 squared is 81, 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is 36. Minus 2 times 5 times 6 is minus 60, cos c. We want to sort it out as we did before by collecting together the 25 and 36 to get 61, minus 60 cos c. Let's get all our numbers on the same side, so we're going to take away 61 from both sides to get 20 equals minus 60 cos c. Divide by minus 60 in order to make cos c by itself and you get minus 0 0.3 recurring and then to find angle c you want to do inverse cos of that number so you can try and keep it in your calculator and you get a value which is c equals 109 degrees to three significant figures and that's effectively angle y in our third example, we're not looking for an unknown angle, we're looking for an unknown side. So we're trying to find length A. Because the unknown is A, we can actually write out the cosine rule in the original form. So A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. Let's label our sides. So the side opposite angle C is C, side opposite angle B is B. And now we're ready to get going. So we're looking for a squared, so we'll keep that as a squared. b squared is going to be 6 squared plus c squared, which is 9 squared, minus 2 times 6 times 9, cos a. And a angle is 44. Let's sort it out. So 6 squared is 36. 9 squared is 81. Minus 2 times 6 is minus 12. Times 9 is minus 108. Keep that cos 44 the same. Right, let's actually work out what minus 108 cos 44 is because we can, after all, just pop that straight into the calculator. And you get a value which is minus 77.6, blah, blah, blah. So keep that into your calculator and then just simplify that right-hand side. And the way in which you do that is just get that number and add it to 81 and 36. So you'll get a squared equals 39.311, blah, blah, blah. And then we need to square root in order to get a by itself. And you'll get a side which is 6.27 centimetres to three sig fig.